What's up guys, Brett Mix here for a quick Raw preview. Raw is going to come to you tonight, February the 5th, 2024, from the Enterprise Arena in St. Louis, Missouri. What's next for all the Raw fallout for the world title? What's going to happen with Seth Rollins, Drew McIntyre, Sami Zayn, or any of those guys going to get involved in the world title? And what's next for Cody? Cody's going to come to Raw, as he is a Raw superstar still. Is he going to further and make his decision and talk about what hap- what's going on? Because he can't just not show up and not uh, address what he said on SmackDown. So, especially when he's advertised for a match. He's going to be in a bull rope match with Shinsuke Nakamura. So, that should be interesting to see. So, after the fan backlash, after the we want Cody chants and hashtags, it's going to be really interesting to see what he says or what he does. And if that gets boos or if he gets cheers. So, tonight should be interesting for that reason alone. Last week, they drew a 1.9, which was really high coming off the Royal Rumble. We'll see what they can draw this week. They also have the Women's Tag Team Championship on the line. The Kabuki Warriors against Katana Chance and Caden Carter. The former champions getting another shot at the titles as the Kabuki Warriors won the titles last week on SmackDown. The Miz will take on JD McDonough getting some revenge from R-Truth's beatdown last week. So you got to think there'll be another R-Truth segment. That'll be fun to see. We also got Maxine Dupree and Akira Tozawa against Ivar and Valhalla in a tag match. So uh, the Alpha Academy against Ivar and Valhalla, that should be a decent mixed tag match. Also, we have the number one contender tag team four-way that we saw on SmackDown. We have the Raw one for the winners to take on Bait and Dunn. It's Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa, the DIY, taking on the Creed brothers, Julius and Brutus, Julius and Brutus, Julius and Brutus Creed. Versus Imperium, Ludwig Kaiser, and Giovanni Vinci. Versus The New Day, Kofi Kingston, and Xavier Woods. Plus, we have Gunther celebrating 600 days as WWE Intercontinental Champion. So, it's going to be a packed episode. I'm excited to see what happens with Cody Rhodes and that excitement uh, that's going to follow when, with whatever decision he makes. Because whatever decision he makes, if it's not Roman Reigns at WrestleMania... Uh, I want to see the crowd reaction for that. I also want to see what they have planned for Gunther as, as he celebrates his 600 days. You got to think whatever they do, these ceremonies, these uh, appreciation segments, like the not this is your life, but those uh, the, where they always do those appreciation segments. Somebody interrupts it, like when Stone Cold had the the alliance pay tribute to him. Kurt Angle came out of the milk truck when The Rock had his, his appreciation night. Uh, Goldberg came out to make his WWE debut. So Gunther celebrating his 600 days. You got to think someone's going to interrupt and then get boosted into the Intercontinental title celebration. I think maybe they were originally having going to have Brock Lesnar at this spot. So it'll be really interesting to see who they put in this spot if somebody does interrupt Gunther and uh, has a WrestleMania feud with him. So as always, I'll be here tonight with the Raw Review 40 minutes after the show, 45 minutes to an hour, whatever, however quick YouTube uploads it. It'll be a 20 to 25 minute review about me touching on everything that's important and sprinkled some analysis on the side as always. So stay liked and subscribe to my channel and enjoy the show everyone. I'll be back tonight for the Raw Review. I'm Brett Mix and I'm out.